feels so much better. So this is a right sided anal gland abscess. And it's so fragile and it's so big that it actually just ruptured as I was trying to do a rectal exam. So this is all just pus and anal sac fluid that's emptying. But, you know, like, like having an abscess or an infection is the only way this guy's gonna feel better. So we're going to drain it just a little bit with compresses. And then we're gonna put them on antibiotics and a topical to keep it clean because your butt is not a clean place in general. Um, and then this guy is gonna come in every three months or so to get them emptied so this doesn't happen again. The anal sacs are the sacs that live um, just outside your rectum at about four and seven o'clock. And if they don't empty normally when you defecate, which is what they're supposed to do, they will feel with this fluid, which accumulates. And then there's no place for it to go except outside to the external world. Um, and that's an abscess. So he's gonna go home with compresses to do twice a day or if he gets diarrhea to keep the area clean. An antibiotic, something for pain, and then a long-term plan to keep these anal sacs empty. If you have a question about anal sacs or anal sac abscess or how to manage it, you can find me here at jaredsvillefet or poly.com. For this guy, the treatment is about $50 for the exam. The antibiotics are about $20 to $30. The non-steroidal is about $20 to $30. And then we use a topical cleaner at about $10. So not bad, but long-term is just managing them. Okay. So we're gonna give him some pain meds and then we'll do some more complex presses okay. and hopefully it won't happen again. Do you have any questions about anal sac abscesses <laughs> or how to keep the anal sacs happy? You can find me here at jaredsvillevet or poly.com.